Hey, and welcome to Tech Tips with Sold Out Media. Linus, you're back. I'm back. <laughs> Oh, thank oh, you guys. We are so happy you're back. Oh. Jake's happy you're back. Jake is very happy he doesn't have to stand there anymore. No, you know what? Jake's a teacher, right? Like, yeah. Jake likes to teach, but he's not a presenter. He, he really gets stressed out trying to present. Yeah, I can the... present things. Look at this. Oh, look this is at what that. we're going to talk about today. Today, we're talking about the Vaxxis Atom 500. Yeah, it's a great little uh, wireless transmitter. Video transmitter. Yeah. So, what a terrific device this is. If you're doing small productions, you're using uh, DSLRs or, or cinema cameras and stuff yeah. like that, and you, you want a mobile camera on a gimbal, for example. I mean, the whole point of having a gimbal is not to be strapped down by cables. Exactly. Right? And maybe you don't want it only to record on the on the device on the camera. exactly you want it to be in the part of the multicam production no, so you can actually see exactly what it's shooting exactly i mean i've done so many shoots where i've had like four or five cameras i'm directing or producing yeah and I, then i get these two guys running around on shoulder yeah, or with you a have gimbal no idea what shots they have they get in they get in your shot yeah. and you're like screaming at them this we thing will help scream, right? no we were so kind this yeah. will help you this will help your cameraman actually as well. Yeah. This and will make them very happy, they don't have to have a cable guy too. No, exactly, right? So for a couple of different multi-camera productions, this is a terrific device. Now there are lots of great transmitters out there, Teradek for one uh, has, yeah. has been in the industry forever and they're great, but they cost a lot of money. Yeah, this, this guy is very, relatively cheap. Like 500 bucks, Yeah. right? Not a bad deal whatsoever. Other, other transmitters that are in the similar price, la pri price lane, price range, price range. <laughs> um, like the Mars Hollywood line. Mm, yeah. I mean, they're, they're really great transmitters, but you lose the latency. Yeah. This guy has less than one millisecond latency. That's what it says at least. That's right, which yeah. means you don't really see any delay. Now, we have done a field production with this. We have. A big, big concert. It was yeah. like, it was like, choirs and people standing up randomly in the choir singing in bands and yeah. it was amazing. It was awesome and we used this. We used this. For the instruments and all of that jazz. Exactly. And it, it worked. And we used the Blackmagic ATM ISO uh, Mini Pro, Mini Pro mm. to, to record. So we actually have the ability to go back and uh, if it is moments like you're looking at the drums and you can see it's yeah. off by a millisecond, we can still edit that in post. Yeah, with uh, Da Vinci. Uh, thing that the ISO provides, mm -hmm. you can still fix it yeah. super easily. Exactly. Those of you who do multi-camera edits, you're going to understand what I mean when I tell you. If you have just a DSLR out doing B-rolls and say they're at the drums, all their mic is picking up is the and if you're trying to sync that with another camera that's on the other side of the room next to the choir, you do have a little bit of audio delay from yeah. where the distance of the drum is to the ladies like oh, singing next to you, right? So when you try to sync that in post, it's hard to get the drums right. When you, when, when you have this, it really revolutionizes that. Yeah. Right? Because yeah. I had the audio coming into the ATM and syncing already with this. Yeah. And so. even if you're in that big production and you have a producer or something that needs to be watching it and yeah. you don't want them to sit, maybe they're very cramped. Yeah. You don't want them to sit right next to the production where mm -hmm. it's happening with the directing. This guy has an app for iPhones which transmits to three extra devices. That's terrific, right? With just I think it was eight frames of delay. No, exactly. So you have somebody who you want monitoring what, what's going on with your mobile cameras. Yeah. They can just sit and, and look at this. This is terrific. It works on a 5G transmission. Yeah. So somewhere between 5.1 gigahertz to 5.9. I really don't know once all the 5G towers are up if that's going to be affected by that. I really hope they don't do that. Yeah, they have to but stop taking frequencies away from we'll broadcasters. See. Yeah. Just saying. Uh, what formats does this thing go in? So this guy, it goes in um, all the 1080 mm -hmm. formats. Uh, 24, 25, 30. All the frame rates. 50. Exactly. Uh, and it does 720 in 60. Exactly. Uh, it can do P and I. In the 1080. In the 1080. Right. Yeah, so it's, it's a terrific little device. Yeah. Um, this is also something to say, this is only HDMI. There's it's no only, SDMI. I was just going to say, actually, yeah. the only issue that I had with this device, with uh, the HDMI, mm. is with our Canon 
our cameras. The cameras we use. Exactly. Usually. And this might be more of a complaint about the uh, camera than it is about the, the Atom 500, but it requires a micro HDMI or a mini HDMI here. And if you're going to use such a camera, or actually any camera with an HDMI, you really need to have an anchor on yeah. that. Like you can, there's places on this camera that you can screw in. There's like a little screw hole there that you can screw an extra anchor point to hold yeah. your cables tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the whole point of being wireless is that you want to have mobility, right? So you can't have some sort yeah, of... Yeah, you can't have a long cable like we're using right now. No, exactly. Or even a cable that's unstable that's going to mm. require you to stay still. Kind of defeats the purpose. It defeats the purpose. So just be aware of that. Yeah. The full size HDMI's they're a little sturdier. If you have some cameras have the full HDMI output. Yeah. But just just a precaution when you buy this, consider this is an yeah, issue. Yeah, it's it's good to um, spend money on a proper mm -hmm. HDMI cable because that that could cost your it, production it, some time and exactly. Produce. And the only issue we did have in that shoot with the production was uh, or with the atom was this yeah. slipping out. Eventually, yeah. I think we zip tied it or duct taped it to the camera. It wasn't my camera. No. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, you do what you have to do to survive. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's exactly what I'm in with. Uh, just buy a proper cable. So it's in the box. Yeah, open it up. It's a nice new box. Exactly. These guys okay. are like 4.6 ounces or 130 grams each. One's a little heavier. It's like 100 or 134. 134 and, and 130. 130 yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, but they're terrific. And what kind of batteries do they take, bud? So this guy's used the Sony NP batteries. Okay. Yeah. We got two right here, so you two can get one. And I can oh, get thank one. you. Yeah. Something cool with this one that I haven't seen in... Because I've been using the Sony batteries. For, for monitors and yeah. things, yeah. And uh, this guy has an eject button right here. Right there, yeah. yeah. So you can just press it and then push it out. Nice I know on mo most of the screens that I've used, you always have to press here and you always get your... your <laughs> it gets hurts. You, you have big fingers too. Yeah, I mean... But still, I mean, that is a good good thing. It has a little... I like it. It's a nice little feature. It's me. a nice little feature. It has a nice little adapter to it yeah, for a mount. Yeah. And it comes with the, the USB. USB. So you should know too, the receiver actually can be powered... Both of them can be powered by, by the wall power through USB or DC. Yeah, so USB. D DC, yeah or uh, the USB for firmware updates. But again, in my opinion, why do you want to have a transmitter receiver that has to be tied down with cables? Well, I do sometimes <laughs> you have a D-mount battery, and a V-mount battery, That's and true. you have everything powered from one battery. That's true, you can do that. Yeah. The, the other thing I could see is, again, if you're like a, a church or a venue or something like that, and you want to yeah. put something up above the drummer, and you, you don't really want to run you cables. Don't want, no, yeah, then this you, you could use power in the wall because it's not moving. Yeah. Right? Of course. That is that is a possibility. But again, like, I like to be trodlos or, or uh, wireless. Trodlos. Swedish. I like to be wireless. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, something else that this guy comes with. Uh, it has quarter inch screw holes mm -hmm. on the side and the bottom. But it also comes with this Extra oh, mount, yeah. Extra mount that you can put on on top here. And it gives you an Allen key to do it. <laughs> it even gives you an Allen key. Right. So you can put it on. So like that. one thing we haven't discussed here, you need to be aware this thing can go up to 500 feet or 150 meters more yeah, or less. 154 meters. But you need line of sight. Yeah, it needs to be that perfect conditions that just doesn't exist. No, exactly. That's I mean, when you can do... Open, open field on a soccer field at a soccer tournament. Yeah. So long as the players maybe. don't get in the way. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. again, we use but this half, with no... half that, then you know it's good. And um, I've seen... There's YouTube videos out there where they've tested. They've gotten up to 250 feet. No problem. Really? Yeah. yeah in a forest. In a forest. That's awesome. So we should plug this in. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's plug it all in. Show you guys how... Uh, how it works, uh, it's not It's not going to take that long. Yeah, just give us a second, we'll connect yeah. everything. You don't need to see USB cables being plugged in. All right. All right, so here you have it. Yeah. Everything's all set up. We're doesn't take so up. much energy to set this up at all. No, it's no. actually very smooth. Right, so you can see we're shooting the box 
and yeah, I mean, how yeah, much? It's like no latency. No latency at all there from the one camera. Or, one or two. And I know the in you you can actually just choose uh, if you wanted to prioritize no latency or quality. Really, I didn't know that actually. Yeah, yeah, so, that. but that's terrific. Again, this thing is such a terrific little device to help you out. If, for those of you guys who are wondering if it sounds anything, there is yeah. a fan on them. And if it's right close to my mic, you can hear it. But you can hardly hear it in the audio otherwise. And in a production, again, we were using this for a music shoot. You're not going to hear that at all. Yeah, I mean, if you're using a, a DSLR, you have a little kit and you have your shotgun mic on it. And then maybe you should have you them on the separate it, sides. Yeah. But Otherwise, it's not going to be a problem. That's smart. Don't put it next to your shotgun microphone. Yeah. Good uh, tip, Linus. Yeah, otherwise, Tech tip. you're not going to hear it. Right. Right. Yeah. So, guys, thank you so much. If you have any questions, please comment below. Uh, don't miss coming up. We have a Christmas special. Oh, it's going to be great. Yeah. And you're going to see your hats. It's glorious. <laughs> I love Christmas. I was born in December, so <laughs> it's all about Christmas for me. Right. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Give us a like, yeah. a follow, thumbs up. Yeah. And Linus, thanks for being back. Yeah, thanks, man. <laughs> it's good to be back. All right, see take you care. guys.